Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this result. Okay. So with the help of diagram, we will try to understand what is given and which thing we have to prove, right? What we have a matrix space XD, let me mention. This is matrix space XD. They have given it is complete. Let me mention it is a complete matrix space. Okay. Complete means what? Every Cauchy sequence is convergent. They have given one subset Y of X. So obviously Y divides the subspace of matrix space XD. They have given one important information that is it is closed. What we have to prove? We have to prove that Y dy is also complete. That subspace Y dy is also complete. Okay. So let me mention the given thing clearly. And after that, we will write the thing which we have to prove. We have we have xd is complete okay so this is given information what is meaning of complete matrix space every Cauchy sequence is convergent right so this is the information and the second information is y subset of x is close another important information y is close right what we have to prove we have to prove that y dy is complete that means in a sim simple language, we can say closed subset of a complete matrix space is complete. Okay, in a single sentence, we can say closed subset of a complete matrix space is complete. This thing we have to prove. We have a complete matrix space. We have its closed subset and we have to prove that as a matrix space, as a subspace, it is a complete, right? So let us start to prove. We will follow the definition. The definition says if every Cauchy sequence is convergent, then we say it is complete. It means we have to take any arbitrary Cauchy sequence from this Y and we have to prove that it is convergent. Let us take any arbitrary Cauchy sequence. Let Xn be any Cauchy sequence in Y dy, right? Cauchy sequence, Cauchy sequence Xn will be like this. Xn be any Cauchy sequence in Y dy, right? Uh, see, Xn is a Cauchy sequence in Y, but Y subset of X, so obviously Xn is the sequence from X, right? So let me mention here, here, Xn belongs to Y, since we have taken sequence from subset y and y subset of x y subset of x implies xn belongs to x for all n right that means all elements of xn are elements of x so therefore we can say xn is a Cauchy sequence in x therefore xn is a Cauchy sequence in X. But see, we cannot forget one important information that is X is complete. So let us use this thing, but XD is complete. Complete means what? Every Cauchy sequence is convergent. So here we have a Cauchy sequence. So it will be a convergent sequence, right? So X is complete means every Cauchy sequence is convergent. So therefore, Xn is convergent in X. So it is convergent in X. So obviously it will converge to some point. So let us call it as X. And Xn converges to some point X. Say. So finally we proved it is convergent, but basically it is convergent in X. Our target is to prove it is convergent in Y. If it is convergent in Y, then we say Y is a complete matrix space, getting or a subspace, complete subspace. So let us start to prove. Uh, so he, let me mention here, Xn is a sequence in Y. Basically, it is sequence in Y since we have taken points from Y and Xn converges to X. So this thing we have now, Xn converges to X. So Xn is a sequence of points of Y, it converges to X. So one result we have seen 
in the topic of metric space you can check in my uh, videos this playlist having title metric space there we have already proved if you have any convergent sequence in y and it converges to x therefore x belongs to y bar if any sequence converges to x and all elements of x in y that means x is a closure point of y it is in closure of y so that's why i've written x belongs to y bar but see here we can use, uh, use another important information that is y is close but y is close when we say set is close if its complement is open right if it contains all its limit points or there is one more thing that is if a is equal to a bar that means here y is equal to y bar then also we say it is close so set is close so that's why we can write y is equal to y bar but see x belongs to y bar and y bar is same as y so therefore x belongs to y so we started with uh, see there is no more space what will i do just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so therefore i can write therefore therefore xn converges to x already we have right and now we proved x belongs to y it means therefore sequence xn is convergent in y dy it means we started with any arbitrary cauchy sequence in y and we proved that it is convergent in y it means every cauchy sequence is convergent in, every cauchy sequence is convergent therefore we can say y is complete therefore every cauchy sequence is convergent in y dy therefore y dy is complete okay so in this way we proved every closed sub subset of a complete matrix space is complete okay just make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you